Well, the Fall Festival is this wonderful program that we've, I think this is the 15th, 16th year of it, and it's where we send teams of directors into multiple schools working with uh, students after school, sometimes in the evening, and uh, over the course of an eight-week period, mounting their own production of, you know, ten different, it can be ten different shows. Uh, then they perform it at their school, and then they come for the four days of the festival here at the Founders Theater. And the place is packed. I mean, it's just, it's packed like sardines with uh, adolescents from all these schools just cheering for each other. It's uh, non-competitive. During the course of the rehearsal period, there are common classes for the actors. There are common classes for the tech kids, the sound, lighting, costuming, uh, set building. Uh, and when they get here, I mean, so many kids have ownership in each of the productions, not just the actors on stage, but uh, so many more kids in the, in the school. <laughs> They're actually startled that it's so accessible because they, they, they never experienced it that way before. It's very accessible, it's very clear, it's extreme, which is uh, a big part of what they like. It's so extreme. The thoughts are huge. The passions, the emotions are huge. The physicality is huge. So it takes students who, um, who, whose experience of school is, you know, sitting in their desks, not moving. Then when you give them Shakespeare, they're on their feet, they're running around, they're moving, they're screaming, fighting, dancing, falling, dying, killing, uh, falling in love, uh, having uh, profound emotional experiences, really extreme experiences. And it's, it, it's as physical as playing a varsity sport. It's as um, intellectually rigorous as an honors class in any subject. It's emotionally uh, engaging and compelling as uh, getting in a fight with your friends. It's just Fabulous. Yeah, I did study Julius Caesar in school, and we must have spent three months trying to figure out what every individual line meant. And yet, I come here, and in like 15 minutes, it's more alive than it ever was in that classroom. There was a sophomore girl who we were doing a production of Hamlet, and she was playing Polonius. From the beginning, she didn't like the character. Uh, and why she didn't like the character was because of how he talks to Ophelia. And she said he's, he's foolish and he's stupid and he's condescending to his daughter and he just, he just treats her like an idiot. About halfway through rehearsal, she said, this is how my father talks to me. I'm, I mean, you could see the hurt. By the end of rehearsal, when we were about to perform the production of uh, Hamlet, she said, she said, the thing is, he really loves his daughter. He really loves his daughter. He just doesn't know how to tell her. She made the connection that in, in playing the role of Polonius, she made a really profound connection to her own life and to her relationship with her parents, particularly her dad. It was, it, was, it was startling. And she was quite eloquent about it. And I think she became eloquent because these texts are so great.